Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we just did the basic setup of the interface for the, the really early parts of our game. We just want to get something up and working so we can start learning about finite state machines and start having some fun making these games. So if I come up here and I hit play, we're going to see that we have the day number one that was just set in the label. We just set that text and we can see our current city is Hong Kong. And we have a button here, travel to Shanghai, nothing happened. So this is really, really simple. It was just basically learning how to lay out labels and buttons. Now let's create our first finite state machine that's going to allow us to begin changing things and creating actions. And uh, we're going to begin by changing this day number one to say day number two when we click this. Now, we could come up here on the main camera or on canvas or any of these other objects and we could create our Playmaker State Machine. But in this uh, course, I am going to begin uh, just by creating a blank game object, an empty game object, to store our game manager and our first finite state machine. So I begin by right clicking here and just going create empty. So this is the simplest object that you can make in Unity. So if I click this, it creates a game object. And I should say the simplest game object. There's simpler objects, but this is the simplest game object you can make. All it has is one transform component on it. That's all it has. And uh, let's go ahead and rename this game manager. So this is going to be our game manager. And it's going to get increasingly more complex and we're going to add more and more to it as as we progress. So we can add a finite state machine in a number of ways. One way is we can come here to add component and we can actually type in FSM and then it comes up here and says Playmaker FSM. We can also right click this I believe. I thought there was a way to do it under here. Maybe there isn't but there is a way to do it here. We can just go Playmaker Editor and then it'll bring up the editor and we can right click here to add a finite state machine to any uh, game objects selected over here. So let's go ahead and use that method now and just click add FSM just like that. And here we got the very basic diagram that comes up whenever we create a new Playmaker state machine. We have what this is here is a start event or transition that will capture an event that happens, in this case start, and here we have an actual state that will contain actions over here as the game runs. So if I run this right now, we'll actually see that start will fire off here and we come in here to state and it's green. And that's because Playmaker started up this state machine for us based on this firing off. If we got rid of this, then this would not run. If this was not named start, it would not run. Okay, so let's now see how can we set uh, and increment this day. So the thing we're going to learn here, and it's almost in any kind of state machine, I can't imagine a, a state machine of any complexity where you wouldn't have a variable, uh, especially if you're building out in a game. You might have a state machine somewhere that wouldn't have a variable, but most of them are going to have them. So let's come over here to variables and let's down here at the bottom define a new variable called day. And what is a variable? It's just basically a label for a piece of information we're going to store in memory. It's the same definition in every programming language uh, pretty much and um, Playmaker uses the same rule basically. We have a variable here that we give a label to and then we can define a type. Now, there's a lot of different types. Uh, certainly this course is not going to cover uh, nearly all of them. Um, and I doubt any one course would unless it was just a reference course just to walk you through everything exhaustively. But in this course we're going to be using a lot of ints uh, for money and for cash and for um, I should have said cash and the bank and the day and other things. So in this case we're going to use an int for the day and we click add and just like that we've created our day variable. While we're here we might as well create one for cash. So just come down here, or I'm sorry, click out here in the middle, and then just type a new one. We'll say cash. 
leave it at n because we remember we're just going to use integers for money in this game. We're not going to worry about dollars and cents. So we hit add. And then uh, finally, we can have one for bank. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video and do this one yourself. So just quick pause. OK, hopefully you tried it yourself. And I'm going to click and do it to so show you. If you didn't do it yourself, we'll just say bank int add. Now, you'll notice here, if we click on these, that there is a value. And well, we might want cash to start out with something, uh, especially until we get some kind of question at the beginning of the game as to how you want to start, either with money or guns, that kind of thing. But um, we'll just leave it at zero for now because really we're worried about this day. So if we come to day, we can change it to one because we probably don't want to start with day zero. So we'll just start with day one. And what we want to do is we want to take the value that's in this variable, we want to increment it when the day changes, and then we want to update our label on the screen. So pretty simple formula, and that's why we're starting with this. We're starting at the very beginning, and uh, we're going to name our state here. Let's call our state here startup game. and we can go ahead here and say that we want to take whatever's in that day variable and add it to this variable right here. We want to we want to append it. So there's a there's a couple of different ways to do this. What I'm going to do for this uh, initial one is just make a nether text up here. Label. We'll say create UI text. And we'll set call this day value text. I'm going to leave the day on there or the text on there, but so we know that this is a text object. I'm putting the value in there so that we know we're not talking about the label. Um, and I could even change this to day label text, so we're real clear. So we know that we're talking about this is the label for the text, which we will now take the one off. And then this is the value for the text. So this one, which I messed up, I didn't duplicate. So let's stop that. I'll delete. Come to double click on day label and duplicate this one. And we'll just move this one to the side a little bit, leaving the day here on this one. And day. Uh, Okay, that's which we gotta make sure we got the right one. So this is that one. Easier to pull them apart. That's that one. So that's gonna be our label one. So we'll leave it just like it is. And this one is gonna be where we're gonna have our value. And we'll call this day value text. Just like that. And this one I'm gonna not put a number in there. Instead I'm just gonna say uh, like either I could do dashes like that. Um, but I'll just say day so I know what variable I'm using. And actually, since I'm, I've capitalized it, I probably should capitalize it here too um, because it just get too confusing. So it's just a cl clue that tells me that's the variable I'm using. I want to resize it a little bit. We'll bring our, our day down here again. So they're somewhat lined up. And then I can just drop this one in here. Now, lining it up perfect isn't my goal right now. I just want to get it functional. So we'll just get it kind of close like that. And I could on this one see have it align uh, left. So it'll always kind of align to the left of, of this. So that, that should look somewhat OK uh, for now. Actually, maybe it will look a little better aligned, aligned right. So now. Um, if I run this, this is what we get. And we're, we're just going to leave it like that for now because I don't think Taipan ever had over 999 days of trading in it. You could always make it bigger if you wanted it to go further. So now we just want to update this label in our state machine. So I click back on our game manager. And here in our startup game, I can just pick up and drag this day value text right into here 
and drop it just like that and under this item here this menu item I can have I have a set property as well as a UI and under this UI I can say UI set text Now you can do this through the set property as well but there's kind of a quick cut to go down to UI here and say set text just like that and now I can set the text here I could just type it in or I can come to this thing and say use variable come to this and say convert now why isn't it listed here it's because this is a text and the um, variable we're using is an integer if this was a string which I'll just change it there temporarily it won't hurt anything and I come back you'll notice it shows up here now but since we're storing it as an integer we're gonna have to convert but it's right there for us so it's real simple we'll just convert day over and store it in day value text. So when we run this now, we get a zero. Now we probably don't want a day zero, right? So let's instead come over here to variables and change our day value to one make sure that gets saved. I thought we did that before but I guess we didn't. Now when we run it we can see our day is one. So we're gonna end the lecture there. I know we didn't it didn't seem like we got a lot done um, we jumped around a little bit but we we got our first finite state machine we added an action by dragging and dropping from our hierarchy over here into our state and that created the action force automatically we didn't have to go find it it just made it for us then we just wired up our variable and just like that we're up and running so if you want after uh, you're done with this lecture maybe try to do the same thing um, for cash and for the bank and uh, if you can't that's okay we'll be wiring those up ourselves but challenge yourself see if you can't do those yourself and in the next lecture, we're going to wire up that button and we're going to advance our day.